Vaccines are becoming more readily available. Misinformation still has some people hesitant or even fearful of getting a vaccine. Our uh, trust index has been looking into some COVID-19 vaccine myths, including one dealing with fertility. KPRC 2's Haley Hernandez, the only on-air health reporter in our area, is a member of our Vaccine Central team. She's live in the Memorial area tonight with what our trust index showed about this myth. Haley? Yeah, guys, this one seemed like such an important topic that we are focusing this entire trust index just on fertility. Will the vaccine affect fertility? Who should avoid the vaccine? We know this is something that is precious that you want to protect, but doctors are in agreement that the vaccine will not hurt you. Some people don't want to get the COVID vaccine because they've heard it somehow affects fertility in their future. And according to our trust index, this is not true. While it's difficult to pinpoint whether this myth started in fictional movies or as a hypothesis from scientists or by vaccine skeptics, the information was spun across anti-vaccination platforms. And Dr. Katherine McKnight with CCRM Fertility says many of her patients believe this myth. There has been absolutely no indication that the COVID COVID vaccine affects future fertility at all. Um, and a lot of the patients who were hearing this were not, you know, conspiracy theory believers. These are regular women who are just concerned for their future childbearing potential. Another myth, the vaccines aren't safe for pregnant women, which is why they were excluded from studies. Dr. McKnight says again, this is false. One of the fears I think our, um, women are concerned about is that the vaccine will cross the placenta and be harmful to their baby. And that has been shown to absolutely not be the case. We believe it to be very safe. Um, and, um, you know, we're seeing lots of very healthy live birth outcomes after women have gotten the COVID vaccine. She encourages pregnant women to get vaccinated because studies seem to indicate unborn babies are receiving COVID protection from moms who get vaccinated. And the same goes for nursing mothers. Dr. McKnight says that it is safe and researchers are doing studies on this. They expect to have information soon on whether or not antibodies are passed on through breast milk. Reporting live in Memorial City, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News. We are following